Okay, we're back. I'm John Furrier with theCUBE with Bob Lodlimite with theCUBE Research. We had great sessions so far. Now we're back with Praveen who helped kick us off and we're, we're here with A.E. Natarajan from Juniper. Gents, how do you think of this program so far? What do you think of the show? Oh, oh, it went very well. Uh, I hope uh, viewers are able to learn something uh, from today's session. Great content, amazing speakers. A.E., why don't you introduce yourself to the audience and what you do at Juniper? Uh, thank you, John and Bob, and it's a pleasure to be here along with Praveen and the rest of you. Uh, I'm uh, A.E. Natarajan, uh, Executive Vice President at uh, Juniper, responsible for van products, silicon, a whole bunch of things, and AI is the most exciting thing that I can actually talk about. Really, really a pleasure to be here. Praveen, I want to get into the AI networking and AI native networking specifically. You launched AI native networking earlier this year. Can you give us an update and share more about what that's about? Yeah, so first, uh, let me reiterate the AI native networking means when the networking products are built from ground up with AI as the core component, right? It's not an afterthought. It consists of two parts, AI for networking and networking for AI. In AI for networking, if you are familiar with our MIST technology, mm -hmm. uh, where AI ops was the key focus, we applied the same technology to our data center so that we can simplify the operations. On the other hand, from networking for AI, again, the, again, the focus is end-to-end -end simplification, right? End-to-end -end operational simplification. And how we achieve that? Today, we are coining another term called ops for AI, which consists of intent-based networking, AI-optimized Ethernet, as well as AI ops. This is AI ops now applied to networking for AI. Ultimately, what we want to achieve, the utilization, the best utilization from the network, the best performance from the network, at the same time with ease of management. Praveen, the Ops for AI announcement looks really interesting. Can you share specifically how this new announcement, Ops for AI, complements your existing portfolio? Yeah, John, first of all, let me just clarify, right? Ops for AI, we have built a lab and we are calling it Ops for AI Lab, where customers are coming in, training their own model and figuring out that this is the performance and this is what they want to build on-prem uh, when they go back. So also I want to uh, tell you that when you build these clusters, there are, let's call it three types of network. There's a network where how do you go and access this cluster? There's a network which is called storage network where GPUs are communicating to storage over this network. And then there is a backend network. The backend network is where GPUs are uh, talking to each other. So three type of networks, sometimes you hear the words front end and back end, but let's say predominantly there are three types of networks. Maybe I'll turn to AE to uh, talk yeah. about how we have the breadth of portfolio to cover all this three types of networks. Absolutely, Praveen. I mean, very excited to actually talk about this because uh, here at Juniper, we build our products with our own silicon and with commodity silicon, which gives us the flexibility to actually customize our products that can be form fit for each and every variation that we can think about, right? That is interesting. The second part which we wanted to talk about is the QFX products, which are the core center of the data center where you actually build all the GPU clusters, connect them across with a QFX cluster in the data center. Now, your GPU clusters are getting bigger and bigger and you have to interconnect them now because of whether it's power, thermal, or space capacity, whatever reasons, you have to go past one building or one data center and actually interconnect them. We call this data center interconnect. And we have some exciting products that actually cater to the data center interconnect, which is our PTX portfolio of products. I'm proud to stand up here because this is the core of how we innovate here at Juniper. We were the first to release 200, 400 gig. And right now, we're the first to, to release 800, 800 gig. gig. 800 gig. <laughs> and this is amazing yeah. because this is an innovation where bandwidth hungry, data flow hungry, GI, AI clusters are going to actually use that most effectively. It's hard to mention connectivity without talking about secure connectivity. So AE, I wonder if you could address what Juniper is doing to secure these backend networks. Oh, thank you. Um, every time we talk to customers, one of the most precious things that they have is data. 
They want to protect their intellectual property. They want to protect their data, which is the reason when they train these models, they want to host it in a secure environment so they can train these models and make sure that these models are not getting hacked into, like hugging phase and other things that have actually happened recently. We here at Juniper, we have a way by which we build a ubiquitous security control plane. What it does is it doesn't matter whether you use Juniper security products, which is the SRX products, either virtual or physical products, you have a unified control plane from which you dictate the security policy. Yes, yeah, single policy single domain. Single policy domain. It actually pushes it out to the entire domain so you know you're protected, and you're protected extremely well. Awesome, that's great. One other thing I wanted to touch upon, uh, Praveen, I think you mentioned earlier that uh, ops for AI lab and if I remember correctly, we talked about it at the beginning, any chance we can give the audience a sneak peek into that environment? Absolutely, so what we can do for today, we can roll the video because we have a pre-recording version of, pre-recorded version of the lab tour. But I do want to point out, today we are announcing that you can come visit our lab, try your model, so try and buy program, try and buy, and you will be able to see what we have done with our ecosystem partners. So it's not just about a single vendor solution across all the ecosystems running real training workloads and mm -hmm. showcasing how we achieve performance and scale and operational simplification with Juniper products along with the ecosystem partners. With that, please roll the video. Juniper's Ops for AI Lab is at the forefront of innovation. We have invested millions of dollars to create the networking industry's first and only AI lab to help you accelerate your AI deployment with confidence. AI infrastructure is a new frontier for most enterprises. Our fully operational, well-equipped lab and experts are here to help. We invite enterprises and partners to confidentially test models such as Llama, BERT, DLRM, or even your own models along with your data or use open source data sets. At Juniper, we value collaboration. We are excited to work closely with you and our ecosystem partners to deliver robust, high-performance, easy-to-deploy solutions. Additionally, you can leverage Juniper's validated design based on open, standard based and through one AI-optimized Ethernet infrastructure. Interconnecting NVIDIA GPUs and backup storage for AI training and inference working. See how Abstra, our data center fabric management and automation solution, simplifies orchestration. This lab also serves as the pivotal environment for testing ML common submission, reinforcing our commitment to advancing AI technologies and industry standards. AI data center infrastructure doesn't have to be a mystery. At Juniper, we are committed to democratizing AI. We can guide you through designing, deploying, and operating AI infrastructure. Wow, that's great stuff. Love that lab. This is like a Excellent, excellent center. This is where you guys are doing some great work. Congratulations on that sneak peek. Got a good look at ourselves here with theCUBE Inside Edition. Thanks for, for doing that. Thank you. Thank you, John. Thank you, Bob. <laughs> Thank you, John. Guys, Thank congratulations. You. 800 gig, you're feeding those starving AI workloads. Good stuff and open, love that. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you again. Okay, we're going to be back with the executives from here from Juniper. We're going to come on a Q&A with Bob and I. We'll be right back.